Well, my friends, we have a major alert that is going to be playing out over the next few days and the next few weeks. Skylar, cue the warning major alert sign. Perfect. But cue the fire a second time and get rid of it because my ADD, uh, like, I just stare at it. You, uh, you guys ever do that, like a PowerPoint presentation where it's that thing that just does this the whole time? I'm like, can, can we move to the next slide, sir? Death by PowerPoint. But we have Larry Summers. Oh my gosh. How bad is it going to get, Larry? He is calling it a coyote moment. And I'm going to call it coyote ugly moment. But we have some good news. Because some of you guys can... Can you please, Bravo, say something good? Okay. We're talking gold. Gold is good, right? Some Bitcoin. Uh, you're going to want to stay uh, stay to the end for that one. I mean, I'm going to move it forward. And the lovely Elon Musk Tesla. We have a lonely island, and I'll show you in the charts. Well, let me just say you should probably get off the island, get in your boat, and go home. And breaking news, former uh, Treasury Secretary Smith, that's Larry, right there. What ha When you get older, like, do you guys just, like, you stop brushing your teeth, you know, you're like, ah, oh, I got some hairs growing out of everything, ah, whatever, I'm... I have millions, come on my yacht, everyone loves me. But Larry is saying the economy headed towards a wild E coyote moment, which cue the fire a third time looks something like this. See, he thinks we're gonna like, oh, oh, oh run, run. And then you're right, we're gonna drop into the abyss. But I don't, I don't want you to look at the economy and think that the economy is the stock market Otherwise, you're going to be missing out on some gains, right? Which, I guess that's what you look like. In your 50s, right? Everything just kind of, well, what do we got here today? And I don't want to be like Elmer Fudd. I don't want to be the Fudd guy. So when I'm telling you, because we're, we're talking crypto, we're going to talk not crypto, just, just Bitcoin. You alts, you know my stand on altcoins. I've been doing this for a very long time. We're talking about trying to find a bottom because I know, and it's hard when you have whales and they manipulate. So I'm going to show it to you in the charts and it's going to be hard to find the very bottom, but I think I can get you close. But now Larry is telling you we're in that, oh, what are we going to do, right? Fall. But please do not take recession economy and say stock market go lower or go higher. The charts will tell you which way they're going. And the same thing with Bitcoin. Follow the charts, not the news. But back to Larry, and you subscribed? Oh my gosh, thank you. That's That took a long, uh, that took a long time. Come on, really, you waited that long? Signs of, no, I'm not gonna subscribe. I'm not doing one year, I'm not doing monthly. Signs of fading inflation and a few strong jobs reports, which are completely BS, which that's why they call them the, the liar report, they put that the L in the middle, the BLS. Jobs reports aren't enough for Larry Summers to sleep well at night. And looking at his complexion, I'm going to agree. The contrarian economist and former Treasury Secretary is worried that consumers are running out of cash, businesses are cutting costs, geopolitical uncertainty, blah, 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 which is a totally right. I believe everything that you're saying, but we have to follow what the charts are telling. And then he's combining it with a cartoonish economic crash, which I already showed you. But Summer says we are going to see turbulence. And I say that's okay, because can you either hand me the toilet paper or close the door? Because I'm getting ready for turbulence. Because in said turbulent times, that's where us as volatile traders make our money. I, we, I, make, I make nothing if the it's just flat. What do you do? I, I don't know. But that is why you come here every day. Because I'm like, you should probably sell your spy position, which... Was that Monday? Oh, that was a, was that Friday? Monday, yes. Or your NASDAQ or whatever. It's like, it goes up, it comes down. And I'd really try to get you close to the bottom. And I try to get you close to the top. Can't always get it, but I get pretty close. But the clock is ticking louder on a stock rally the pros never believed in. And I didn't either. But it's okay because I will swing the bat both ways, which some of you guys are like, I thought so. 
Whether you are a bull or a bear, I am a both. I also come on the show and try to be a contrarian and I try to help the people that are like, well, I'm just an investor. And I'm like, okay, here are my indicators if you wanna be an investor. I think you're in that zone. But Michael Burry, BlackRock, Morgan Stanley have warned the stock rally won't last. And the indicators have been telling you that. Here's why they have little faith in the stock markets. Best start to a year since, well, 2019. But I don't know if you caught this. The NASDAQ had the worst, well, week. Which if you don't believe me, oh, we're getting to Tesla, hold on. If you don't believe me, believe CNBC Pro. You're welcome. I pay the money. You get, right? That's one that I'm like, yeah, you're, you're pretty good. I will take you. Dow closes nearly 170 points. Great. Higher. Oops. S&P and NASDAQ post worst week since Desombre. And also it must get a little crazy, you guys. If you don't follow me every day, like you could, if you miss me for a few days, you're like, wait, I thought you said Tesla's going down. I thought you said it was gonna go up. Oh, it's going down again. Yes, cause that's what the stock market does. It goes up and then it goes down. What's gonna happen next? Oh, it's gonna go up again. And since I got Tesla just staring me in the face and I did say, I was gonna talk about it. Here, I'm gonna talk about it. So this is called an island reversal. Looks like that, it looks like that, followed by gaps. So now that you know what Investopedia says, I'm gonna show it to you. Tesla currently in, it's on an island. Well, you got your gaps and you have your island top. Is it bullish or bearish? That would be a bearish reversal. And this is currently on the four hour. So you could really clearly see it. And this is gonna take some time to play out. Now on Monday, when you're like, you said Tesla's gonna go down. Look, look where you're at on your uh, on your MACD. You're starting to converge head a little higher, but big picture, downtrend on the Tesla. Also, I have not taken a play out on this for a while. I put that one in my course and I nailed it spot on. And that was back in the day. I took out a short at 253.61, took half of my profit there because that's what we do as traders, trading this beauty pageant. Uh, closed the rest down here, filled on November at 186. Uh, that's it. And now on the daily, I mean, even, come on, you guys. Lux Algo is telling you, take profit, get out. There's Plus, you have an island. Also, with your MACD on the daily, yeah, converge, diverge, head lower, uh, stochastic. If I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I always pronounce that one wrong. I'm going to be using this one for Bitcoin. Yeah, these are your highs. Okay, this is where you... Uh, you don't get in, uh, this is where you do get in. And also on Bitcoin, uh, I took out a small little position. I told you guys about that one on a short. Oh my gosh, I shorted GBTC. And that was, uh, it's down, it's since, since I shorted it, down 10.46%. Uh, well, that's up for me because I, I, I go, oh, I think it's gonna go down. Hey, hey, how'd you know that? Oh. Shocker, right? But then on the real Bitcoin, which you are in a ascending, broadening wet, you had a lot, you have a lot going on on, on the daily. Um, I, I think we're gonna go lower, but I think this could be one of your last chances. Now, when I say that, I have this line right there. And I'm like, I have to be in on this trade before that line. I don't want to go into that. It's just a lot goes into that line. I also have short plays, I have long plays, and then for those of you that want to hold all, I to try to give you like, oh, I think it's probably, I've been saying anything under 20, you could just, you know, eh, I, I could, uh, what do you guys call it, DCA or dollar cost average. But when I move the chart to the monthly, doesn't that white line just get a lot closer? Now you have a couple things. One, that was that, that falling wedge. I said it was gonna break, it's gonna pop up, it's gonna come down. You have a red line right there. That, that's a support line that it's probably gonna come down to if you wanna know where it's at. It's around 14 and some change, all right? But again, these are like your your, your levels and it could be danger zone. I don't know, here's another one, 7,300. Is it gonna take that support? It could. Also, for those of you that hate Bitcoin, I get it, it's okay, but just know, it's never gonna go away in your entire life. Never been hacked. It's not like Ethereum or altcoins, which Ethereum has been hacked. Oh no, you said it. 
Bravo, those are fighting words. But I'll tell you, the government does have fighting words and they are coming after your altcoins that you can no longer stake anymore. What? All of these bad things and they're being fined like never before. Because remember, the government is the one who is in charge of creating this gigantic Ponzi scheme. And they're the only ones that are allowed to make this stuff that they call money, which it's basically just counterfeit, but they own the system. And then they tell you when you're growing up that sheets of paper with some presidents, some not on it are actually money when it is not. And then my my older audience, I guess that would be you and I, uh, you know what money is. Gold, silver is money. Yes, correct. But our millennials and everyone that uh, you have born and raised in this world, they're like, I don't like that gold and silver. We'll, we'll stick with Bitcoin. So do me a favor. Don't be on the wrong side of the fence on this one. And again, I have no dog in this fight. I, I own gold. I own silver. I own stocks, bonds, Bitcoin. Did I use all of this stuff just to buy the stuff that, well, actually I don't. My wife does. But now let's look at the stock RSI. I'll show you how to find it. Click on indicators, go down to S. It's right here. Stochastic RSI. I also have stochastic RSI with, uh, oh, I want, is it TD? No, I don't want TD. There's another one I want to put on there. Oh, 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 uh, one second. Boy, do I have a lot of them. Death by indicators. Uh, CM Williams. This is to find market bottoms. Oh, hey, look, look, see? Market bottom of Bitcoin. Market bot. Here, I'll make this a little smaller so you can't. Oh, it's all in the uh, crypto core. If you guys are into crypto and you haven't taken that, you're, you're cuckoo. Oh my goodness. Also, today is my only day. I, I haven't run a sale on this one in probably over a year. 199 a day only and it it's hard okay just to let you know crypto is not easy especially when you have whales they can manipulate the price but i i got you whales i'm i'm a i'm that little fishy just collecting all your whatever you shoot out your backside looking at this going back this is uh here's your bear market okay uh and, and this is how long it lasts this is a bear market that's how long it lasts this is a bear market and that is how long it lasts those have already converged, diverged your little blue line. Also, I drew a red line. You get over that red line, when that orange line meets that one, we are now in a bull market, which one of the many reasons why I have that white line up there. Again, a lot of things go into a, a stupid white line. The, the amount of time Lehman Brothers, I mean, I just, people would go, you're kind of crazy. All right, now I'm gonna measure date range. You go over to this little button, you click date range. Okay, again, all in the courses. From here, when it when it crossed, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the orange one, right there, and we are on the monthly. The orange one, we're gonna go all the way over, and it's roughly give or take 400 days. Okay, this is when one crosses, and then the other one crosses. All right, let's do this again. Let's see where we are currently at, right here, to right here. That is almost, you know, 424 days. Now, big picture, I do think that Bitcoin's gonna pull back. It's it's gonna go lower, okay? How much lower? I'm just giving you some, some options in here, but it will go higher. And yes, back to the government. And I think there's a, a high probability the government even created it, but that would be a whole nother video. That, tax it, regulate it, regulate the exchanges, which they're already doing. I mean, my accountant wants to know every time I clickety-clack on anything crypto, they, they, everyone wants to know it. So again, I think I'm balanced on this. I mean, most, you know, you go onto crypto channels every day. It's like, it's going to the moon. Like it, it, the channel's named Moon. I'm just trying to figure out, are we going to the back side of the moon? Are we landing on, I, I don't even know. So for those of you that are into why cough, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the phases we are in in Bitcoin. Uh, I should probably turn myself off because I'm hiding it. I guess it's probably better that I turn myself off on camera than turn myself on, but okay. I guess that's for another uh, paid subscription service. But looking at this, uh, looking at you have, uh, I can't see myself. Uh, you see, this is this is what it looks like. It's actually, I think I have Wyckoff in the course, in the crypto course. Um, we're we're in spring, okay? I, th I think we're gonna pull back lower, but then head higher, but I don't know how low. So I just wanted to show you 
we are basically in this whole here let me see if i can if i can zoom over a little bit so you can see now i think that that's about it but we're in this phase it's this one trying to catch the bottom that i'm trying to help you with and then we repeat all right so now let's head over to the other money gold okay blue trend line okay also if you're just like wait i i have I don't know what to do. Again, always start with swing trading and then you move, you can do the crypto, you can do the bear market. And then what else do I have? Oh, that's Amazon starting businesses. Or you could do all of them for 199 total four payments. If you're just, if you're totally like, I think I get what you're saying. Starting the business one's hard, but okay. Anyways, I digress. Going back here, blue line. See trend line on gold. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Woo. Would I ever buy in this area? No, I wouldn't buy. I'm just kind of curious. Let me just turn on a little Lux Algo. Let's see how deep uh, you are into that territory. Yep, not going to touch you. Uh, I'll wait till you come down. That's what we do. That's uh, You accumulate. Oh, you, these little green things turn on. I'm going to accumulate. All right, so we bounce, 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 bounce. Here we go. Oh, we rip higher. What is this? Actually, someone left a horrible comment in the comment section. I was going back and forth. He was like, what about that on the monthly? This is called a, the, a cup and handle. This one goes back to, uh, well, 2011. And that is the, that I don't think you could even do a cup and handle that goes that long, you know, whatever. Just leave that one alone. And this handle is really wonky, but I'll give it to you. What I want you to take away though, is this blue trend line and these support and resistance. And you also have a gigantic ascending broadening wedge. I'm going to turn that you see the that there's the there's your resistance but let's not uh let's not go too far out let me turn that one on that one's a uh, lux algo if you guys want lux algo link in the description i had it left off forever you guys kept emailing me like shoot i'll put it put it back down there and most of you can't even find it you f how do you find my email but you can't click the more button and find the courses and everything i don't know so congratulations for finally you like come to my house you're like Hey, uh, Mr. Bravo, I want, I want your courses, but I can't look for the more button up there. And I don't want to pin my own comment. It just seems so narcissistic, but Hey, look at me. All right. You, what you want to do, see this blue line, get above that blue line. But if you can't get a blood, if you cannot get above that blue line, I'm not in this one. If you want to buy and, you know, accumulate, that's fine. I think gold's going way higher. All right. But I think we're going to come down and retest down here. I'm just, I'm giving you the patterns, but that is the play right there. If you want to take a picture of me, huh? Put it in, you know, save it on the wall and go, okay, honey, once we finally, you got to get above that. And then you got to find support and head higher. Then gold just to the moon. But there you guys go. That is your homework. I'm just going to, just going to finish up over here. Maybe, uh, maybe wash my hands in the sink, clean up, enjoy for getting ready for the, the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh. No one's going to watch my video tomorrow. Hopefully you will. Maybe share it. Share it on the big screen. You know, during the whatever it is, the halftime, that'll be a chat show. You can be like, here, let me show you my, my stupid friend, Johnny Bravo. And make sure you subscribe so you can remember. Don't turn the bell notification on because that could probably get annoying. And I'll see you tomorrow. Not, not too drunk, though. Okay, remember? Three drinks. That's, that's your max. And lots of water. See you tomorrow.